And I think he went, it'd be mental to two foot someone right and now. And get sent off. Yeah. <laughs> that would be, that would oh, be But while he's thinking that, he's in the air. Welcome back to the prem. What's up with you? I not feel right. What's wrong? I mean, it, how can we do it when everyone, everyone except us is one, Liverpool one, Tottenham one? Grow up, will ya? We had a great first 60 minutes of football, didn't we? Did we not? Pretty much. Have you seen that we're top of the league in terms of big chances missed? That's not a league. That's the real quiz. And if you look at missed. the Premier League table, like so. What hey, is that? We're at top. Brentford's behind us. Hey, what is this? Everything's coming up Millhouse, baby. <laughs> everything's coming up Millhouse, indeed. Actually, I hadn't seen that. Yeah. I saw a different league table. See, you don't look at the league table, do you? No. You're one of them. We don't look at the league table in September. No. See, you, you get surprised if you don't look at it. See, I've because I, I've been told you don't look at it until January. Because yeah. that's when you know yeah. the low. But if, I, if I've only had been looking at it, I'd have seen United at the top. Yeah, United, United top of the league. The only thing I didn't know is, where's like Arsenal and City and all that on that table? They're really below they're us. Even like, really they're lower. quite far down. Because yeah. I've not been paying much it's attention. It's mental. It's I just, mental. I just, I just they dropped the points note. again this weekend as well. Oh, yeah. Which City is crazy. and Arsenal both yeah. dropped points. So, um, yeah, they need to watch out. Unbelievable. We're pulling away. <laughs> maybe, maybe things are all right, Adam. Maybe <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? Maybe things are actually... Going pretty well these days. Unbelievable, right? Let's get into it then. United and Paris, come on! 67% possession. Unbelievable, what a start! That's the real quiz. 11 corners. Oh! 11. Mama. We didn't concede 20 shots. Oh. Rasmus Hoyland rocked up again. Oh. Oh. And boy, oh boy. Did you see Lissandro Martinez? I saw it. He well, loves football. We, we only could dream of tackles like this. Let's see this. Let's see this bad boy. Not come down on Kamada really. Unbelievable. What is he doing? I like the memes that have come out of it. Yeah, have you seen the one where he's jumping off the steel cage at WWE? Pop it in. Yeah, have you Fantastic. seen the one where he's on the Pixar logo? Yeah, that's very good. He's like the little lamp piece. Have you seen the one where... Uh, yeah, there's something we, we won't talk about that one. He's, he's flying into all sorts, bless him. Why is he flying into a tackle like that? Why is he doing that? <laughs> flying into all sorts. Why is he... Licorice all sorts. Bassets. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Why is he doing that, do you think? He's just... Because that was at a point in the game as well where we were so... Obviously, we, we didn't get a goal, but we were so dominant. He was barely having to do any defending. He was just passing the ball around, him and Delict, into Maynou, into Ericsson. And then all of a sudden he comes in like he's trying to kill another human I think, being. You know, like, I use this a lot because it happens a lot. But you know when you're doing something, like a normal task, I don't know, climbing up some ladders, um, carrying two cups so what of What do you tea. mean climbing? Well, like, so is that a normal I've task? I've got a point here. Playing it's board, a normal task, climbing up a ladder. Playing board games. Some people that? do it every day. But, That's true, yeah. Um, yeah, so you're carrying a couple of cup of teas down the stairs. Brilliant. What happens? Your brain goes... It'd be a mighty shame if you drop these. <laughs> so make sure you don't. Yeah. And then you put that idea in your head. Yeah. And then you drop them. Yeah. And I think he went, it'd be mental to two foot someone right and now. And get sent off. Yeah. That would be, that would oh, be so shit. Stupid. But while he's thinking that, he's in the air. While he's thinking that, he's like this. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing he knows, he's in the air. It's like the February the concept. Have you yeah. heard of this? No. Because in your head, the, the word February, your brain knows there's something weird going on with the R's in February because yeah. there's the extra R, isn't there? Yeah. The sort of silent one. So you almost get to the point where your brain goes, you get so used to spelling it with the extra R because you've been spelling it for 30 years, but your brain is still telling you there's something weird about this word. So then you go, well, it must be that there isn't an extra R yeah. because I know there is, but I know that the rule is that there isn't. Yeah. Next thing you know, you're out in February with one R in it yeah. and, the, and the world's gone mad. Do you know what I mean? Is that right? It is, it, it is a bit like that. It's like when you do the, the I have, what is it? I have to see except after E. I before E except after C. Yeah, see, I fucked that up. Exactly. I but know also, the rule, but what is the rule? But also that rule has got more exceptions than it has confirmations. Well, like, you, you know when people that? go, oh, you want to remember that? Remember this little song. Yeah. How the fuck am I going to remember a song if I can't remember the colours of the rainbow? Yeah, exactly. Who, who's going to remember that Richard of York gave battle in vain? Well, Certainly I'm vain. not. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, indigo. Indigo, violet. Fuck! Full of Newcastle! <laughs> the notes, we've got a little note behind the thing. Fuck on Newcastle! And the, new, the notes simply say, Ethan. Cut to Ethan? Full on three, Newcastle <laughs> one. Sorry, Ethan, mate. Any words, Eve? No. Shut the fuck up. Oh, what well, we're looking at here. Oh, no. Is that Bruno Gamares? 
Is that Bruno Gamaras do that? Is that Bruno World Class Gamaras? He's World Class Gamaras, isn't he? Is that Bruno 100 million to City Gamaras? Is that Bruno Gamaras? That couldn't be Bruno I dye my hair so I must be called Gamaras. That's Bruno Gamaras. Is it? Yeah. Interesting that, that he's absolutely... Turned into Casemiro. I mean, don't use their own player I mean, as an example. I mean, um, turned into Bruno Gamaras? Come on, man. Get your insults lined up. You have to have someone that no one likes that isn't very good at football. You seen Andres Pereira's hair? Don't have a go at him either. He's played for United. Yeah, but Andres Pereira looks like... You know when that teenage girl goes on her first holiday to Marmaris? Yeah. Comes back, hair all did up. Oh, yeah. What the fuck's going on? What are you doing? Leave it. Some people look great with hair like that. You're not one of them. I remember those days. Yeah, you had a little cheeky braid in your hair, didn't you? Come back like Michael Scott from Jamaica. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> hair's like this long. Was it Palacio that used to have the little rat tail? Yeah. Do you remember him? Yeah, I, I, used to, I, should, I should get one of those in. What would you do if I came back and I had full cornrows like him on... Um, what's that film? We'd have to have an intervention. Would you? Yeah, because I'd think you've gone to Goa, spent a day on Anjuna Beach, yeah. and now you've become one of those culture vulture hippies who beats a drum and smokes weed, and now they think they're closer to... Whoever's upstairs. Well, it's a f- this is we're in the basement. So Nothing wrong with smoking. We all be a, a recruitment company. So if I want to get closer to them, yeah. braids is not the way to do it. I'll tell you that much. Fulham uh, beat Newcastle three one, and this result has been coming. Newcastle have been substandard, subpar, riding. The- they've been the opposite of Man United, playing shit, getting wins. That and, and finally it's caught up with them. The way it's finally going to catch up with United. We're playing well every week, and we're not and winning enough games. Good stuff's going to catch us. It's all going to flip, baby. Do you it's know when flip, yeah. I heard a story recently of a friend of mine who's um, on Christmas Day, their poodle got on top of the table and no one was looking, ate the entire Christmas turkey. Here's where we get to a United thing. Its stomach flipped in its stomach because it ate too much food. Died on Christmas Day. I thought you was going to say his stomach flipped. Yeah. So then. He was, just not, he was just hungry again. <laughs> no. I thought that was going to happen. Like, no. you know, like a washing machine, like yeah, yeah, the yeah. food that's at the top, but then when it turns, it goes. There's a gap and then and it, it drops, drops in. Yeah. No, no. I thought it, it was like that. No, it died. Oh. Uh, but the moral of the story is. Why are you telling me stories about dogs dying? Man? Because United are eating the turkey that is good performances. Their stomach will flip and their bad form will go on to die. Obviously, that family, their Christmases have ruined it, all reminds them of the dog, um, and of course, huge vet bills because you've got them out on an emergency basis with it being Christmas Day. Terrible for them, but great for Manchester United, and that's the point of all this, okay? I've had too many coffees, and that face better get put away very soon, Adam. Turn that frown upside down, big boy. Why are you talking about someone's worst Christmas ever? Because it's about to be our best Christmas ever. Have you ever. seen that thing that people are doing where they go like, I'll be the Grinch on Christmas for your house. And then you just go up to someone's house at Christmas and destroy, destroy it. Destroy it. Have you seen, you've seen the, you eight, the 80 pound Grinch? The 80 pound Grinch? He, he, he turns, he, he, it's a classic meme. He turns up at someone's house and he just covers their son with a litre of orange juice and leaves. What the fuck did I, what the fuck did I just say? You gave an example, a principle general, in general terms. I gave a, a specific example. Yeah, but it's called conversation. Okay, okay yeah, yeah, good point. Sorry. Don't worry about it. They're calling it the greatest game of all time, Adam, because everything has to be the greatest game of all time these days. Man City 2, Arsenal 2. A defence versus attack. It was a great game. This is Foreman versus Ali. This is rope dope stuff. Foreskin against Ali G. Interesting. That was good, that, innit? I'm not sure. But all we do know is it ended to all. And do you want to know what's going on with Arsenal Twitter at the minute? They no, are no. milking Arteta dry. Take your time with it. Take your time. Oh, no, did you see that scored. again? I did see that. Happened again. Let's put the clip in. Sorry, troops. Take your time with it. Your time with it. Pussy them. Come on. This is their last fucking chance. Come on, Arsenal. Come on. Keep him out the fucking... Oh, no. Oh, my days. Oh my days, you're fucking kidding me. Oh no. Everyone's going on like Arsenal are the best team in the world because they only lost 1-0 after going down to 10 men. Is that that good? Is that that impressive? I thought they should have, I thought City looked shit. City playing against 10 men looked shit. I think Diaz had five shots. I think Vincent Company somehow had five shots. Mm. I think Kovacic kept shooting from 30 Kovacic yards. Kovacic can't shoot. It's like, 
what the fuck is going on? Why? Yeah. They were just shit. They were shocking. Yeah. They, they were really poor. And they, get, they got to a point where Diaz, because he got, he missed so many shots. There was a point right at the end of the game where he had the ball on the 18 yard line. No one even tried to block him because they knew he's so scarred from his first yeah, shot. Yeah, he's not he, shooting, he anymore. shooting again. And he didn't. And they got, obviously, uh, eventually they, they got the, the ball in the back <clears> of the net. But I just think that United used to go there under Solskjaer with Dan James and we're peppering goals in. Beaten. Like this whole thing that Arteta's a genius because they managed to get one point at the Etihad. Mm. It's fine. It's pretty good. Grow up. Oli Oli was massively, massively hard done by. Look at our away record and everything on him. A full game unbeaten. Incredible. A full, full game unbeaten. First unbeaten. back to back. Full season unbeaten away from First back to back top four. Fi- I know it's not the real quiz, but top four finishes since Fergie. Yep. He, he was sick. Anyway, St- let's go through these clips. Let's have a look. Yeah. Haaland clattering into Saliba, uh, then clattering into Pai. I like that. Yeah. You know what I ate? I like yeah. Haaland. Love that. That was fucking class. But he, that's because Havertz did it as well. Yeah. There seemed to be something going on yesterday. I think in the last couple of games, maybe it's got a little bit physical and there's, there's been a few things left over from that. Yeah. And do you know what? One thing I will say about this rivalry, even though... Arsenal just sort of lay City's boots most of, the, most of the year. The one thing I will say that's good about it, compared to the Liverpool-City rivalry, where everyone was shaky hands, mm. we love each other, it was the most polite, bullshit mm. rivalry ever. At least there's a little bit of action going on Needle. Now. A little bit of needle, come on. If you're not going to have to watch it from a distance, at least have it be exciting. I mean, Haaland did a little bit as well, throwing the ball at Gabriel. It is depressing, though, man. I was watching that game just thinking... <sighs> I want to be in a title race. Really? Even like, I want to get, I even just miss that feeling of getting done over here yeah. and having something to really cry about. Yeah. The feeling that something slipped away. Yeah. You've been screwed over. And now we lose and it's like, oh. Now we draw and we go, that was really good. We might not finish top four. I know. Oh, fucking hell. It's rough stuff, isn't it? You know what I like though? What? Erling Haaland bouncing the ball off Gabriel's head, that was fun. Yeah, Arsenal need to shut up a little bit. Yeah. Do you know Bounce. what as well? I've, 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 I keep going back and forth on who Boing. we need to win the league. Because if, it's if, so good that. <laughs> can you, by the way, can you imagine? You've conceded in the 98th minute of the game yeah. an equaliser after like proper working hard, concentrating, yeah, focus. Just, just, madness, yeah. yeah, under the, under the cosh. They score, you're fuming. And then Haaland bounces Let's the ball off your head while he's probably laughing as well. Probably sounded like, probably sounded like Nelson Mons when he ran away from that. Ha ha. Yeah, he did. He definitely ha ha it on the way past. Yeah. It's annoying, Class. isn't it? Because if, if City win the league, you can just say it don't count because they cheated. But if Arsenal win the league, yes, it stops City doing five in a row. But you can't really say it was anything other than just them building a good mm. side and winning the league. Cities mm. just don't even count, they're just illegitimate. Yeah. So I don't know who I want to You're win. saying City are bastards. City are bastards. Whereas us? City are bastards. We're legit. Yeah. Mm. Uh, at the end of the game, Haaland again. Do you like Haaland? Yeah. You do, don't you? I do like it. There's a few City players, you like Grealish, you like a Haaland. Yeah, but Grealish isn't playing well for them, so I like that. You admire what Kyle Walker does off the pitch? Oh, yeah. I mean, being able to juggle two full families like that is incredible work, yeah. isn't it? Um, it's, it's the bare-faced cheek of that, by the way. Mad. Imagine, yeah. Imagine this. You cheat on your missus. Mm-hmm. You get someone babbied up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then That's the wor- that your missus it. takes you back. Mm. And then you do it again. With the same person. It's fucking incredible. It's so crazy. It's it's. Footballers can do what they want. Innit? It's so crazy. They really it? can, innit? Madness. And you had football. What would you be like if you had footballer money? Would you be doing stuff like that? No, I'd be doing weird stuff. Weird yeah. sex stuff. No, not necessarily. I'd be in the Galapagos months at a time. Do you know one of those people that's like, oh, he's always injured on Neymar, sister's birthday, whatever. Ooh, you're going like, to take your sister's birthday off? No, I'm not taking my sister's birthday off. I'm taking the summer solstice off every year. Okay, yeah. I'm doing a pagan round the world tour. Okay. Do you know what I mean? I'm seeing the sunrise through ancient yeah. tapestries. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? That kind of shit. I'm just doing, I'm painted in different like colours. Like Jaden Sancho being sent away for a month. Yeah, I'm doing all that stuff. Nice. I'm doing like weird drugs that make me be sick. And then I find a new realm. I think I'm I would just be mental, man. What would you be like? I don't know. Would you I have a big, fast car? I think, yeah. I think I'd die early. 
yeah, I, I do as well. We've had this conversation twice today. This is really depressing. Your career would, um, your career would be cut short. Yeah. I think you'd get the big contract. You get. I'd the win the league. Week. Yeah, and then I'd just be fucking having fun. You'd be Jack Grealish. Yeah, because that's what he did, isn't it? He, he won the league. He won the treble and has done fuck you know, all. Jack things. Grealish driving his Range Rover down the road, just absolutely ploughing yeah, every car and dinging in the... everything, and gets out. Uh, <laughs> On my own. No, Jack. You know Wolf of Wall Street where he's on a Cayley trying to get in his car? Yeah. That would be me leaving Old Trafford after a game. <laughs> <laughs> All the fans Sorry. asking for autographs. Were you doing drugs <laughs> on the pitch? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you'd be like, like that footage of Maradona. Why does this dressing room smell of weed? I don't know. It's in my sock again. You <laughs> no, you've, got it, you've got it tied around the, the string of in your shorts. In my cycling shorts. Yeah. yeah. And you do, a little, you do a little jointy when you score yeah. a goal. Yeah. It'd be so, that'd be horrible, that. Career. You'd be writing stories about me, the little fucking prick. Oh, that's got to go. Can't Why? Be doing it can't be... <laughs> can't just <laughs> directly calling people fucking pricks. Right, so to summarise then, Arsenal and City both drop points. Darwin Nunes is crap. Tottenham didn't even mention them, they don't count. Fuck them. Newcastle is shit, they drop points as well. Yeah. And shit. like you said at the start, let's flash up again. United top of the league. United, United top of the league. Perfect. What more could you ask for? Thank you very much, Adam. Another successful week. Another successful week. In the week. world of Man United. Fantastic stuff. It's great being a United fan. All you have to do is think differently. Yeah. yeah? Perfect. Think outside the box, you fucking lemmings. Yeah, exactly. Yeah? Is that it? Yeah.